Right now, is Madison closer to getting an Amtrak stop? We take a look at the funding being set aside for the project, plus the federal funding that could also help. Also, the Biden administration will soon be making another visit to Wisconsin, this time UW-Madison. Why Vice President Kamala Harris is coming to the campus. And later, remembering Richard Davis, the legendary jazz bassist who taught at UW-Madison and how he impacted so many beyond music. Welcome to News 3 Now at 6. Well, the skies are looking cloudy as we head into the weekend, but there's a little sliver of sun Always right there, right? <laughs> and we have more fall-like temperatures coming. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Eric has the night off. Brady is in for Eric. We begin with the weather where earlier some parts of the Madison area got a little bit of rain. Yeah, just a little bit. So what should we expect if you're planning to go watch one of the football games tonight? For more, let's check our first warden forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canolfi. Gary? Well, once we get rid of the clouds, the temperatures will start to drop off a little bit, but having that sunshine for tomorrow means we'll be a little bit warmer. Let's start out by taking a look at visible cloud track. You can see how those clouds were primarily over the southern half of Wisconsin. The northern part of the state cleared out, areas west of the Mississippi River cleared out. Now we're starting to clear out, or at least we will over the next couple of hours, but that precipitation we had earlier today, mainly in the form of drizzle and some very light rain showers, and right now nothing showing up on high resolution radar across southern Wisconsin. Temperature, high temperatures today only in the 60s for most of southern Wisconsin, but areas out to the west that had some sunshine did make it into the 70s. La Crosse at 74 for the high, Prairie du Chien 71, and that's where, where Prairie du Chien is right now. So you can see the effects of sunshine versus cloud cover. Right now, uh, Madison's at 65, Janesville's at 68, uh, here in Dane County, 66 in Sun Prairie, 63 in Wanakee, and 63 in Belleville. Look for skies to become mostly clear this evening. Temperatures dropping off into the upper 50s by late evening. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast. It does include dry weather for most of the weekend, but maybe some rain chances again as we head into the early part of next week. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway announced her new 2024 capital budget this week, setting aside $400,000 for continuing passenger railway planning. That addition left many wondering if Madison is any closer to getting an Amtrak stop. Brain Ross has the answer. Right now, this is the closest Amtrak stop to Madison. It's here in Columbus, about 45 minutes away. But Madison's director of transportation tells me he's hopeful a little federal funding and a lot of momentum could bring trains closer to the capital city. Getting Amtrak to Madison won't be a project, it'll be a journey. For years, Tom Lynch has been working to make the Amtrak puzzle pieces align for Madison. There will be multiple phases, you know, identifying a, a, a good site for a station, uh, getting in the um, Corridor ID program, the Federal Rail Administration's Corridor ID program, then design and then finding different funding sources so that we can piece together this jigsaw puzzle. That federal funding program he's talking about is part of the 2021 bipartisan infrastructure law signed by President Biden, which set aside $66 billion for railway improvements across the country. If there was ever a time to be able to um, capture passenger rail again, this is a good time to do it. Wisconsin is in the running for some of that money. If it's granted, it could put Madison even closer to getting an Amtrak stop. That's something Ron and Myrna Sisler would love to see. The train is, is a lot nicer than sitting behind the steering wheel all day. They drove three hours from where they live in Illinois to pick up their daughter here in Columbus, but a stop in Madison would cut that journey down quite a bit. It would be a good idea, yeah. It would be a lot closer for us in, in not only us, a lot of other people. Right now, Madison is still in the early stages of making an Amtrak stop a reality, but added funding in the mayor's budget will keep Lynch piecing together a plan. Hopefully, uh, this time the jigsaw puzzle will, will fit. Lynch tells me he's expecting to hear if Wisconsin is accepted into that federal program sometime this fall. After that, it'll still be a few years before Amtrak finally makes a stop in Madison. For now in Columbus, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Vice President Kamala Harris is planning to stop by UW-Madison soon. It's part of her plan to tour college campuses all across the country this fall. The tour is part of an effort to mobilize young people on issues like abortion, gun safety, and LGBTQ plus equality. The White House did not say what day the vice president will be in town, and the university is not sponsoring the event. The last time Harris came to Wisconsin was in early August. That was her fourth trip here since taking office. 
A Beloit man will spend the rest of his life in prison for shooting and killing a man in 2021. On June 15th, a jury found 27-year-old Damon Hanna guilty of first-degree intentional homicide following a three-and-a-half-day trial. Hanna was arrested and charged after shooting 33-year-old Jordan Jefferson. The shooting happened on part of West Grand Avenue on the night of March 30th, 2021. After he was shot, Jefferson ran to a nearby house where he died. Witnesses reportedly told officers at the time of the shooting they heard arguing before a gunshot. Madison police say they found an injured man after a fight on the city's south side. The fight was reported around 1050 yesterday morning in the 2500 block of Fraser Avenue. A gun was fired during the fight, but the man did not suffer a gunshot wound. Police said people were seen running and driving away from the area when officers arrived. Anyone with information is asked to contact Madison police. An investigation is underway in Rock County after an inmate was found dead in his jail cell this morning. The man was discovered unresponsive during a security check. There were efforts to resuscitate him, but the man could not be revived. An autopsy is scheduled for Sunday in Madison. Law enforcement in Dane County are teaming up with the State Patrol in an effort to keep children safe when going to school. Starting next Monday through Friday, law enforcement will be in school zones around the county looking for speeding and other dangerous driving behaviors. The collaboration will also include free slow down yard signs for residents and businesses in school zones. We just encourage everybody to just pay attention to the the speed signs, slow down, focus. I know it's it's a busy time of life. Everybody's on their phones and distracted, but you know, just take that moment and be aware of your surroundings and all of the kids. And remember when following a school bus to never pass one when it's stopped. Also be sure to yield at crossing guards. Meanwhile, the Racine Police Department is investigating two school bus crashes within 24 hours of each other. Both of the crashes were on the same street. Now in this picture, you can see a damaged pickup truck behind the bus. At least one person was hurt, and this latest crash happened yesterday, about a half mile from the first one, which occurred on Wednesday. And you may remember this video from yesterday. Doorbell cam shows the school bus not stopping at the stop sign where it is then hit by a city bus in the intersection. Nine people were hurt in this crash, six of whom were taken to the hospital. Thankfully, no students were on the bus at the time of the crash. Police are now investigating whether tree branches were blocking a stop sign. Today, the Madison community remembers internationally known jazz bassist and UW professor Richard Davis. The 93-year-old passed away on Wednesday. News 3 Now's Arman Rahman has more on his life. Arman? Yeah, Charlotte and Brady, you may recognize his name from this street on the east side, which was named after him in the Darbo Worthington neighborhood in 2018. Davis was born in Chicago in 1930 and studied ba bass throughout his school career. After college, he moved to New York, where he established himself as one of the world's top bass players. In 1977, Davis moved to Madison to teach. He later founded the Richard Davis Foundation for Young Bassists. Davis also works to make sh Madison a more welcoming place for people of color. And I sat down with two of Davis's former students who are now musicians teaching across the state. Hear what they have to say about his legacy tonight at 10. Coming up at six, is allergy season lasting longer than usual? What SSM Health is saying about this year? Oh, gosh, I hope not. <laughs> Plus, with the anniversary of 9-11 on the horizon, how you can help the American Red Cross and Madison Fire Department this weekend. Dust and debris can leave your carpets, upholstery, and more looking dull and dirty. Stanley Steamer certified technicians can remove the buildup and restore your home to a cleaner and healthier space. For a fresh start this season, call or go online to schedule your deep cleaning with Stanley Steamer today. Did you get hit with big energy bills this summer? You aren't alone, and we want to help. Because if your house was hot this summer, it's going to be cold this winter. And heating and cooling is by far the biggest energy user in your home. That's why our foam insulation is such a great investment. Our best offer of the year just ended August 31st. But to help you get ready for winter, we're going to extend it until September 22nd. When we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm hmm Are you foreign print certain? 
Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Talk to myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Steinhoffel's biggest Labor Day sale has been extended. There's still time to get huge savings throughout the store, plus hundreds of amazing bonus buys, like a Queen Beauty Rest $3.99, this dining table $3.99, a Queen Bed $9.19, or this sectional $9.99. And take up to 40% off patio. Make it even easier when you use Steinhoffel's 72 month financing. Steinhoffel's biggest Labor Day sale, so big we had to extend it. Shop in store or online at steinhoffels.com. Now's the time for cleaner indoor air with an air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. You've known us for carpet cleaning, but we've been cleaning air ducts for over 20 years. We do things the right way, cleaning your entire system. So if you need an air duct cleaning, call 1-800-STEAMER today. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. The maker of sleep apnea machines has agreed to pay $479 million to settle claims related to a recall. The law firm handling the class action lawsuit says Philips Respironics has agreed to reimburse the cost of affected devices. Its 2021 recall indicates use of some ventilators, CPAPs, and BPAP machines can lead to some health problems. They contain foam that can break down, possibly causing the user to inhale or even swallow particles or chemicals. Are allergy seasons getting longer for us? Some health experts with SSM Health think so. Dr. Ashley Olson with SSM Health says warmer temperatures can cause longer pollen seasons. In recent years, pollen has also become more potent because of air pollution and greenhouse gases. Dr. Olson also says it might be a few more weeks before things actually clear up. Well, hopefully once we get a couple of good frosts in the fall, most of the pollen has gone away at that point. So typically, you know, we're, we're looking into October before that happens. Um, I'd say September is pretty much the peak for the ragweed pollen season. Here are some things that you can do to make things a little better for yourselves. Taking off your shoes so you don't track pollen all over the house. Consider changing your clothing and take a shower before going to bed. The American Red Cross teams with the Madison Fire and Police Departments to host the 12th annual Never Forget Blood Drive. Monday marks the 22nd year since the September 11th terror attacks. The Memorial Blood Drive started in 2012. Since then, Red Cross has collected nearly 1,000 donations helping save people who have cancer, need a blood transfusion, or have been in an accident. But for first responders, donating on 9-11 means saving lives and remembering those who were lost 22 years ago. A lot of people need blood and it literally gives people life and when we do it on September 11th we're doing it again in honor of those nearly 3,000 Americans who lost their lives on that day. The drive starts at 7 a.m. on Monday and appointments are encouraged. Still ahead, why the Wisconsin DNR wants you to keep an eye out for a certain kind of pine cone. Plus, J.J. Watt is taking his talents from the field and into the studio. He's not replacing us, <laughs> but we'll show you where you'll be able to watch him again on Sundays. And could more rain be on the way for the weekend? Gary has the complete forecast when we come back. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge Labor Day sale at Slumberland Furniture. This awesome reclining sectional comes with a free recliner. How about a Lazy Boy recliner as low as $3.98? Do not miss this one. This right here is confidence and a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and 
very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, yeah. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great, looks even better. And I did this to my father, we were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This Labor Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our starter price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. I don't know how it's all gonna fit. Action! Now at Slumberland, $9.99 gets you a lot. Like a Sealy Posturepedic mattress and an adjustable power base, both just $9.99. Need a twin? Get a Sealy starting at just $129. The huge Labor Day mattress sale. Only at Slumberland. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. You've heard a lot about rising wages in the past few years. Well, here's something you might not expect pay cuts. Walmart is lowering pay for new hires who prepare online orders for curbside pickup. The cut is about a dollar an hour and does not apply to existing employees. Walmart says it made the change to make starting pay more consistent across jobs. Now, online order preparers will earn wages more similar to what cashiers and stockers make. The DNR is asking for help collecting red pine cones for its ongoing reforestation program. This fall, the department's tree nursery in Boscoville will be using the last of its stashed away seeds and is looking to replenish its supply. The department says $125 per bushel, which can net roughly a half pound of seeds. Cones must come from their natural habitats, not from anyone's personal yard. Once collected, cones should be stored in a cool, dry, and breathable container. On News 3 Now, Clinky Cleaners and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County and Magic 98 are teaming up for the 38th annual Coats for Kids Winter Coat Collection. So for the past 37 years now, area residents have joined together to donate more than 344,000 winter coats to Coats for Kids. This year's campaign kicks off on Monday, September 11th with our Pack the Truck event. The Coats for Kids collection truck will be parked curbside at Clinky Cleaners. The address is 4512 Monona Drive from 5 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. to accept donations of new and gently worn children's sized winter coats and accessories. Well, we have a rainy start entering the weekend. Here is Gary with the complete forecast. Yeah, we had some drizzle and some very light rain showers today. Uh, thought we'd get some sunshine. Just haven't gotten any, uh, for most of us at least, uh, through much of the afternoon. But now we're starting to see some breaks in the clouds. But you can see on, on high-resolution Doppler radar, any precipitation is so light, it's not even really being detected by the radar. So that's the kind of uh, day it was. But tomorrow will turn sunny, and that'll get us milder. Temperatures will be back up into the middle 70s. Uh, showers will become likely Sunday night into Monday. Still a possibility of them lingering into two. Tuesday, uh, the rain isn't going to amount to all that much, though. And then dry and pleasant weather return by the end of next week with high temperatures probably in the middle 70s by next weekend. So another spell of nice weather. This weekend starts out pretty nice. 76 tomorrow with mostly sunny skies, a little milder than today. But then on uh, Sunday, we'll see skies turn mostly cloudy. A slight chance for an afternoon shower. High temperature at 75 degrees. And, of course, we have the Ironman Triathlon. Uh, temperatures starting out in the mid-50s when the swimmers start out in Lake Monona. Uh, the biking goes through the morning and into the early afternoon hours. Temperatures around 70 degrees at noon as skies cloud up. And by late afternoon, we're looking at temperatures in the middle 70s. An outside chance for a shower probably will feel nice for the runners if it does occur. But uh, right now, it looks like... It mostly comfortable weather, at least as far as uh, that's concerned. Now, as we take a look at future track beginning at 3 p.m. Sunday, you can see clouds, but not much in the way of rain. That will become more likely as we head into later Sunday night and into Monday as a weather system kind of passes by to the south. We'll see some showers often on Monday, and then as we head into Tuesday, they're a little more spotty. 
question is whether a secondary area of showers develops out to the west late Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. But notice by Wednesday, things start to clear out. Temperatures will be cool at night and uh, still kind of cool during the day before they warm up at the end of the week. Powerful Hurricane Lee and Tropical Storm Margo in the Atlantic Ocean. Lee right now, a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds just below Category 5 strength at 150 miles an hour, gusts to 185 miles per hour. Forecast from the National Hurricane Center keeps it as a strong Category 4 or near Category Category 5 hurricane as it heads to the west northwest. Here's what I'm kind of interested in because it starts to make a little bend toward the west. Now, after that, it looks like it may start to make a jog more toward the northwest. Uh, hopefully that happens because that would keep it off the U.S. coast. Should it go farther west, then it's a possibility that New England may at least be brushed by the outer bands of Lee as it moves up the coast uh, down the line. But right now, Notice most of the country is quiet. A west to east pattern in the jet stream doesn't allow any moisture to come into the Midwest. So at this point, we're not looking for anything significant as far as any rainfall. 50 for the overnight low in Oregon, 50 in Mount Vernon, 47 in Marshall as you plan your night across Dane County, across the rest of southern Wisconsin, 50 in Janesville, 51 in Prairie du Chien, and 50 for the overnight low in Baraboo. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a little milder, high temperature at 76. First warm 7 to 10 day forecast, mid 70s Sunday. Again, a slight chance for an afternoon shower. Best chances of rain Sunday night into Monday. A chance of showers on Tuesday. Temperatures mid-60s through the middle of next week, but near 70 on Thursday, and then low to mid-70s as we head into next weekend and beyond. Thank you, Gary. Former Wisconsin Badger and NFL star J.J. Watt is entering a new stage of his career. He's starting his new job as an NFL studio anal analyst. The three-time Defensive Player of the Year will join Nate Burleson, Phil Simms, James Brown, Bill Cowher, and Boomer Esiason on NFL Today. Watt, who retired at the end of the 2022 season, says he's doing his homework and getting ready for the season. I love the game. I love talking about the game. I love, you know, talking to the players, the coaches, just helping share that knowledge. I mean, I've got 12 years of NFL knowledge, and I've been playing since fifth grade. So I want to be able to share some of that and kind of give an insight to the fans of what a player thinks, you know. For his teams to watch this year, Watt chose the Philadelphia Eagles, Pittsburgh Steelers, and the team he spent most of his career with, yes, the Houston Texans. Watt is the only player in NFL history to record multiple seasons with at least 20 sacks. You can watch Watt on and NFL Today on CBS starting this Sunday at 11 a.m. And coming up in sports with injuries at receiver, meet the Packer rookie who's hoping to make a splash during Sunday's season opener. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This week's High V Hot Deals are High V Choice Reserve Bacon Wrapped Sirloins, $2.99. Ruffles, Fritos, Cheetos, or simply $2.50 each when you buy four. And select Coke products, $3.25 each when you buy four. Only at High V. Fry Construction invites you to usher in the fall season with our exclusive fall sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our fall savings. Save 23% off gutters with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from foreimprint.com. For imprint for certain. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. 
Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Fire up the grill and save this Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Fresh ground chuck, $3.99 a pound. Our special recipe brats, eight for $12, plus a 16 cent fuel saver. And pork loin back ribs, $1.99 a pound, only at Hy-Vee. It all comes down to the final drive. News 3 Now brings you the big play highlights and scores from Southern Wisconsin High School football action. Don't miss the final drive, Fridays on News 3 Now at 10. The Packers have, one of, have been one of the best NFL's passing offenses for the last three decades. But as the page turns to the Jordan Love era, Green Bay's week one matchup with Chicago might not tell us as much about the future as we thought. Christian Watson has been ruled out for Sunday's game, and Romeo Dobbs is listed as questionable. So who's left for Love to throw to? Well, how about rookie wideout Jaden Reed, a Chicago native who's ready to carry the load in his first NFL game? It starts off with knowing the playbook, just know where to line up and, you know, just knowing the plays and the concepts. And, you know, my confidence has grew so much uh, since I first got here in rookie minicamp and OTAs. And, you know, my, my confidence has been out the roof during camp. So I'm just excited to go out there and just play my first NFL game. And tune back into News 3 now at 10 tonight for week four, the final drive. We bring you the biggest highlights from the biggest high school football games in our area, including our game of the week. It's a big eight battle between Verona and Middleton. Like most kids growing up in Wisconsin, Washington State's head coach Jake Dickert dreamed of playing for the Badgers. But this weekend, he'll coach the Cougars and is looking to take down his home state team for the second straight season. The former UW-Stevens Point pointer was asked earlier this week what Wisconsin football means to him. And let's just say Wazoo's head coach still has a soft spot for UW. I think there's something about having one major state school that's just different that not a lot of people can really relate to. Uh, I think everyone looked at them as like, if I could just play for the Badgers, that would be the Mecca, you know? And um, so just a lot of fond memories of going to the game and as a kid being out on that field and go to the Wisconsin Badger football camp. And th th those were all really cool memories of being out there on Camp Randall. And don't forget to stay tuned after News 3 Now at 6 when the second edition of our new weekly sports show, The Wisconsin Huddle, airs each week. I sit down with one of the Badgers' biggest players bringing you, the, bringing you past the playbook. This week at 6.30, we sit down with Braylon Allen. Get to know Bucky's biggest back tonight on the Wisconsin Huddle in just a couple of minutes. We're looking forward to it. Right. Finally tonight, Oreo is bringing back a fan favorite after three years. Yeah, this is now the grill. The red <laughs> velvet Oreo returns to shelves next week, but for a limited time. So the cookie has the layer of cream cheese, cream sandwiched between two red velvet flavored cookies. Fans have been requesting these Oreos be brought back since they left in 2020. Red Bad Vel timing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was the first thing. That <laughs> Red Velvet makes 12 varieties of Oreos now available. So there's mint, dark chocolate, and hazelnut. Uh, what's your favorite flavor, everyone? Original. Yeah. Wait, isn't there like original. birthday cake or something? That one's pretty good. I like Is that, that your yeah. favorite? Yeah. Gary? Uh, I think original, just dip in milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, there's not a spam Oreo yet. And as an Austin native, I would oh, have to let's okay. do that. Okay. No, thank you. No? Don't speak No one that. else was thinking? No, no. no. Okay. All right, final check. Uh, starting to get some clearing, uh, the live view from the WISC TV sky cam, a little clearing on the western horizon. Platteville Queen Bee Radio sky cam, a little more sunshine there. That's a good trend. Enjoy whatever Oreo you want. Yes, folks. please do. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.